All right, Thank you. So I apologize for some really bad code you're able to see. Um, all right, so we can all make a cat, great, right? There's nothing to it. But there's nothing very cat-like about this, right? So let's add some uh, features. So sound, give it a method. You can do this after you create a class, it's totally fine. And let's make a dog and turn Grumpy into a dog. You can do this. Um, Grumpy is not happy, so Grumpy is now gonna say meh. Um, well, something to note is Grumpy is now a dog, right? So if you ask Python what Grumpy is, Python tells you it's a dog. What is a dog? Dog is a type. So a class is just an instance of something called type, which means type is a class, which means we can subclass type. So we can make a class that inherits from type called a metacat. And really, when you make a class, you're just instantiating a meta class. So we'll inherit from cat and uh, use the meta cat as the class for the cat class. So this is totally fine. And because I've added a wrapper to the meta cat, um, if I ask Python what fancy cat is, it tells me it's an emoji. Moreover, I can now change Grumpy to be of the type fancy cat, and now Grumpy also inherits that wrapper in the usual way, right? So, so, uh, so this is all. This is all good. I mean, don't do this in real code because, <laughs> because, because you'll confuse your coworkers. The static type checking may go bonkers. Um, I've also added something that I call, a, I call it a factory on the meta level. So really, it's a, it's a factory method, which you ordinarily would write as a class method on the class. So, but now, because I have a factory method on the meta level, um, I can say, make me an, another cat. But the difference is, is now that the factory method is not available on the instance, unlike class methods. So it's a way to maybe protect the factory method if you don't want to have instances creating other instances for some reason. Um, I'm not recommending you do this. Um, so why? Well, I think it's fine. You can play around with it. Um, and it also unifies classes and objects. So everything is an object in Python. And you can actually do some useful stuff, which I, I don't really care about. I mean, they're out there in, in the libraries, in the frameworks. But it's totally useful, too. Um, so if you learn nothing else, just keep in mind that classes are dynamic structures. And they're also instances. and you know, my advice is be stupid, write silly, useless code. I think it's the best way to learn. Treat Python as a laboratory. Um, I teach at Hackbright Academy, so if you want to learn more, come take our class. And you can follow me on Twitter at this handle. And now Grumpy is very fancy. Thank you. Woohoo! <laughs> <laughs>